Hey guys, Nate Harris here with Stone River Outfitters. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to tie a simple yet deadly little beadhead pattern that, despite its diminutively small size, has caught both me and a great many others some surprisingly big trout. Known popularly by most as the zebra midge, let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin with a high quality short curved shank scud or caddis people hook like the TMCO 2488 size 18 I've chosen today, and to it we'll mount an appropriately sized 564 inch silver bead. For our thread, I've chosen today to use Danville 70 Denier 6 Ot Flymaster, color black. We'll start the zebra midge, like we do all of our flies, with a standard jam knot placed just behind our bead. And of course, once snug, we'll go ahead and rid ourselves of the excess with a quick careful tug. Next, for our rib, we'll grab and hand a spool of UTC Ultrawire, what we're using today is size extra small. Color of course, silver. And after snipping a comfortable 3 to 4 inch working length from our spool, we'll go ahead and secure a wire firmly to the hook shank just behind our bead using a few well placed tight turns of thread. Once snug, we'll begin binding our wire smoothly rearward along the hook shank using carefully placed, continuous, close and abutting thread wraps, creating as we go a nice level underbody. Working carefully around the hook sharpened point, we'll continue wrapping smoothly rearward until we reach a comfortable stop located deep into the hook's curved bend. Once there, we'll then begin simply advancing our thread forward again towards our hook eye, working as we did before in smooth, continuous fashion, creating as we advance a handsome, durable, double layered black thread body. Naturally, once we've reached our bead, we'll take a brief moment to install a quick half hitch to prevent our smooth laid abdomen from unraveling. Next, We'll begin winding forward under pretty heavy tension and at a pretty steep angle our silver wire rib. Ensuring of course as we wrap that we distribute our wire smoothly and progressively along the fly's body using nice carefully controlled and this time evenly spaced turns. We'll continue forward until we've again reached that comfortable stop located just behind our silver bead. Once there we'll then tie off our rib with a quick tight turn or two of thread. Remembering, of course, for durability's sake, to double our wire backwards along the hook shank before adding a few more snug locking wraps. And naturally, once secure, we'll go ahead and rid ourselves of the excess wire with a quick couple of twists. Next, to give our fly some shoulders, we'll grab in hand a soft, fine, velvety textured dubbing, color of course black to match our body. And after rolling a small, sparse pinch neatly around our thread, We'll then go ahead and wind in place immediately behind our bead a nice, round, modestly robust, but proportionally sized thorax. A final few tight turns to help seat our thread. And we'll then finish this fly by installing a standard whip knot placed neatly behind our bead. Naturally, once tight and secure, We'll go ahead and trim away our excess thread neatly at its base with a close careful snip from our scissors. Well gang, there it is. The beadhead zebra midge tight start to finish. This simple, easy to tie pattern works exceptionally well when trailed in tandem behind a larger nymph or when hung in dropper fashion below a bushy, high floating dry fly as well. Deadly too when tied in a variety of other colors. If you've not yet dedicated a row or two in your fly box to the beadhead zebra midge, I strongly recommend adding them. Hey friends, thanks again for tuning in today. Do please remember to visit us on the web for all of your fly fishing and fly tying needs, and as always, snug wraps and tight lines to all.